Let's talk about the microthermal compressor controller for a little bit. So this little thing is cool. It's what tells the microthermal computer everything the compressor is doing, and it's what controls it. So if we zoom in here a little bit, well, that doesn't help much. Let's zoom in a lot. There we go. Okay, so let's look at the top for a minute. The top, you got a tiny little button that says reset. So whenever you're having problems with it and it's not communicating right with the, with the computer screen, whatever, you just hit reset sometimes. It fixes everything. I have not yet used the service button and I don't know what the thing that says wink means. Moving down a little bit, we've got the red light on the auto here, which that just means that you have the switch that I'm gonna show you here in a minute down on the bottom set for auto, not manual and not off. Then our green light underneath that says proof. That means that the module knows that the compressor is running because it has a little amp current sensing relay that tells this thing that it's running. Below that, we find the alarm light, which right now is not lit up. But if the unit's in alarm, like it was a little bit ago, you'll have a red light right there. But we're not in alarm right now, so let's take it off. And then last below that is the run light, which tells you if the compressor is running or if it's not running. If the unit's an alarm, this light will be off. And last, this is where we have our proof wires coming in from the current sensing relay, our wires from our low pressure switch input, and then we have, I'm not sure what this is right here, but then below that we have the compressor out, which I'm guessing goes to the contactor, and then below that we have that auto, off, and manual switch, which if you need to turn the compressor off, you can hit the switch to off or manual on. Whatever you need to do for whatever purpose, you can do it there. All right, so let's get back to the oil issues. Oh, hey, but real quick, these are the current sensing relays I was telling you about. You know, if you ask me, I think that there's really nothing wrong with the oil system. Probably had some kind of freak anomaly going on because we just had a storm that come through. They just got their power back on uh, at this store uh, like earlier that day. This was yesterday. So I think we've been having some issues like that. This is an overview of all the frozen cases, which is what that rack is for. We'll come back to that in a minute. Right now, let's look at the Rack C page. So anywhere on this page, you can click it and it's going to zoom in and then once it zooms in you can click on any of these other things and it'll take you to a whole other screen with other options so there's a lot you can do from this from these pages here more than what you think and there's a lot of information here you've got suction pressures suction set points uh, you go here you click in there you can see the graph of when the compressor was on and off uh, you can change it from one day to two days to, to see a bigger, you know, more spread out graph. You can zoom or scroll back in time. And there's a lot you can do with this if you didn't know that. So I found that pretty helpful. Back in that page, you go up here, you can scroll through all the alarms as far back as you can go, uh, at least to where they stopped, stopped erasing them last. And then you can see the times that they occurred, um, what it was who acknowledged it, when they acknowledged it. Click on it, it'll open it up. You can clear it if you need to. Here's a graph of one of the cases. So you can see when I started up this compressor recently, we've got this drop here on the graph right there at the end. You can see that's, that's, that, that's what we got by me getting that compressor out of oil failure. It went down just that little bit and all the cases are starting to come down where they need to be. So that's good to know, that's good to see. We pretty much see that on all of the graphs for the frozen food. So this store really wasn't struggling that bad, but they were getting the alarm, so they called us. So here on this circuit here, we've got a real nice drop there at the very end of the graph. Uh, so this case benefited a lot from getting that second compressor on and working. So that's really nice.